In this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to buy, how much you can expect to make, how much is this going to cost, and who is this really for? So welcome back guys to another episode of Unconventional Side Hustles. Let's go ahead and get into it. So real quickly, so who are you going to sell the, your services to? Well, there's a lot of people actually. So you're going to have, you know, real estate agents who need to clean out a house to get it ready for a sale. You're going to have contractors who are remodeling or rebuilding a home and need to get rid of some of their scrap metal or uh, building materials. You're also going to have the just the casual residential homeowner who is doing a closet clean out or a garage clean out and needs a little place to dump all their trash because it's not going to fit in their standard um, recycling bin. So those are typically going to be your most popular um, clients when it comes to this dumpster rental business. Now we'll go ahead and jump into, so how does this whole thing, how whole operation work? So it depends what type of dumpster you get. If you get a roll-off dumpster or if you get a dump truck um, or dump trailer, this is all going to vary how this all happens. But with a roll-off container, typically you're going to rent it out for the day. We'll talk about the prices here shortly. Um, you're going to rent it out for the day. You're going to drop it off at the location, whether it's the construction site, whether it's the homeowner's residence, or whether it's the real estate agent's listing. Wherever, you, wherever your client is at, typically you're going to drop it off there. Now, if you have a dump trailer, you can either rent it out to them particularly, um, and they can come and pick it up and, and haul it wherever they need to haul it, or you can actually hook it up to your vehicle and drop it off at their location, and then they can either, you can lock it, and so they can't move it anymore, or you can leave it unlocked, and that way they can take it and do whatever they need to do. What type of work can you do with these dumpsters? So who are, what are the clients gonna be putting into my dumpsters, right? You wanna know, what are they going to be throwing in there that I have to get rid of? So if you have a dump trailer, typically you're going to be hauling off a lot of debris. Or if you're not hauling something off to get rid of it or to dispose of it, you're going to be hauling something to a location. In my case, you know, I do a lot of gravel. I would bring a dump truck and spread gravel or base or road, whatever. There's different terms for this. Um, Another thing is sand. There's a lot of sand. Say somebody wants to build a little beach looking area in their property and maybe they just installed a pool trying to build a beach, a uh, man-made beach. They're going to be using your dump trailer to haul a bunch of sand. So they're not going to be disposing of anything. So there's not going to be like a disposal fee particularly. Uh, it's just going to be a daily rental fee for them to use your trailer to spread the material out. Now, if you have a roll-off container, there's different things that you can get disposed of. There's gonna be like roofing materials, all types of construction materials. Um, some places will not allow paint. Some places will not allow tires. There's just different stipulations for your specific one city and state. So you're gonna have to look into that. What, what do they allow? What do they not allow to be thrown inside your dumpsters when you go and you know, get rid of your roll-off container, all the debris inside. So, that's something you are going to have to pay attention to. Also the weight, there is weight restrictions on a lot of these trailers, particularly for sure the trailers. Um, also the roll-offs. So roll-offs and trailers can be over a certain limit. You're going to need to start this side hustle. So the, for the, to start the side hustle, you're going to need a vehicle. Typically a four-wheel drive vehicle or at least a 1500 uh, style vehicle, like a Chevy Silverado or a Dodge Ram, etc with a ball hitch. If you have roll-off bins, you're gonna need a larger vehicle to have the ability to pull the roll-offs and roll them back onto your trailer. So the, the cheapest route is basically just a truck and trailer. And you're gonna need obviously the truck, the ball hitch, and you're gonna need a trailer, dump trailers. How are you gonna purchase a dump trailer? So how I purchased mine was through my business. Um, got a business loan for the, for the equipment, for the business, and then um, from then on, just, you know, went through the business. So I went through the business to pull out the money for the trailer. Now you can go ahead and put it into your name if you just want to get it personally for yourself. But again, if you weren't trying to do a business out of this and maybe grow this and scale it, um, definitely just consider a loan, a business loan to get the equipment. Um, business loans are not super, super difficult to get uh, for the most part. But um, how much do these things cost? So how much does a brand new dump trailer cost? We're going to be talking a lot about dump trailers. That's more what I know more about. But I know there's other avenues that you can use these um, roll-off bins to make cash as well. 
So dump trailers vary in cost. They depend if you're gonna get a gooseneck, which if you don't know what a gooseneck is, so most trailers, they are uh, regular ball and hitch. They're kind of level. Um, they have like a little nose, right? I don't know how else to explain it. They have a little nose. There's an eagle flying up there. But anyways, they have a little nose um, and you just back up into the trailer. That's it, right? A gooseneck is like this, kind of like what it says, a gooseneck. Um, you're going to usually have a bigger truck, usually 2,500 and above, are capable of pulling a gooseneck. So you're going to back up the truck, probably pull down your tailgate, and the ball hitch is in actually the bed of the truck, and you're going to come in, your truck's here, and then you're going to drop it down in. That's a gooseneck. With a gooseneck, typically you can pull a little bit more. They are better equipped to haul heavier loads, but you're also paying a little bit more for a vehicle and for the trailer. The cheapest route is just a regular basic um, standard truck with a standard trailer, dump trailer. Now the standard dump trailers typically range between 8,000 to 15,000, depending on the brand, depending on the size, and again, the carrying capacity of this thing. The goosenecks obviously are gonna start a little higher and go up a little higher. I've seen them in the 20s, 20 something thousands for different sizes again. Now most of these are all electric, so they, there's different styles of dump trailers. So you wanna plan ahead, what are you gonna plan on doing with these dump trailers? So a lot of them have a spreader. So if you don't know what a spreader is, a spreader is a gate that opens up and spreads the base or the material for a road. So if you're planning on doing roads, again, this is why it's good to think ahead on this one, um, you're gonna want the spreader on there. It's gonna make your job so much easier. You can charge more for this. It, it makes everything go so much faster. Um, every, I had a spreader on mine and it made so much, so much more sense, so much easier. Uh, because if not, now you have to go rent out a tractor to spread the material and or pay somebody to spread the material. This way, it's all automatic from a little winch here. It jacks up the, the dump trailer and you just run the truck and it spreads it out nice and evenly. Littlest work possible with a dump trailer right there. Now again, if you already have a vehicle, you already have a truck, all you need is a dump trailer. So it's you know, it's a little bit of an investment. You can do monthly payments. You don't have to buy it all, all out in cash. So that does help out there. Monthly payments are usually between 150, 350 bucks, somewhere in that range, which one load is typically gonna make you at least 150 for the most part. We'll get into that here shortly, but you're definitely gonna make your money back as long as you hustle and you get the clients and you put your name out there. So the next thing is who who does this uh, you know unconventional side hustle fit like who are the people that would more likely use this maybe you find yourself in this situation people who already usually have a vehicle usually a truck more than likely um, and have a little extra cash to maybe put down on a dump trailer or have a business llc or can create one and then leverage that to purchase a dump trailer all it takes is one dump trailer guys to get started you're gonna be doing a lot of work up front um, when you start off, just like most businesses, honestly. But if you have a lot of time for one, say you're off on the Saturdays and Sundays, people are always requesting work to get done on Saturdays and Sundays because that's when people are off. So if you have off on a Saturday and Sunday, it's a great side hustle. You can make a couple hundred dollars um, just doing these loads back and forth. So real quickly, everyone wants to know how much can you expect to make from this? So that's gonna vary if you're gonna be using, we'll go ahead and talk about um, the trailers that you're gonna be pulling or versus a roll off. So we'll go ahead and start with the ones you're gonna be pulling and possibly delivering to as well. So with the standard dump trailer that you pull with your vehicle, if you're gonna be hauling material for your client, it ranges anywhere from between 150, well, it depends on the size of your dump trailer also. But for the most part, for a larger size dump trailer, medium to larger size dump trailer, about $150 to about $300 and something dollars just for hauling the material to them. Uh, material's pretty cheap, so it'll cost you, depending on what type of material you get, maybe like 20 bucks for a load of material. If you're getting some higher quality material that um, takes more work to make, then yeah, you can be looking at maybe $200, $300 for the cost of material. Um, Back then, they didn't pay as much. Now they do pay more. Most people are charging, you know, about $100, $150 to start just for the delivery fee. Um, if they have smaller dump trailers, we're talking about like a, a five foot by 
10 foot or five foot by eight foot, they're charging like 70 bucks, 60 bucks, 50 bucks to start on the delivery fee. So you want to get a little bit of a bigger dump trailer if your truck can handle that. Um, obviously, because you're gonna make more money that way. Quickly to kind of go over again, who is this you know, unconventional side hustle for? It's for someone who has a lot of time. Maybe they're off on the weekends, maybe they get off early from a job. Um, if that sounds like you, it's probably you know, really a good fit. Second, someone who typically has a truck already. You want to have a truck um, because I'm not just going to add to your expense. So you usually have those two things. The last thing you're probably going to have to purchase is a dump trailer. Um, someone who has a little bit extra capital to put down on a dump trailer, maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars, or someone who has a business LLC that can just, you know, put down very minimal, if nothing, to pull out a dump trailer and just pay on a monthly basis. So it's a good side hustle. You can make a lot of money as long as you're hustling, obviously. Because you can get multiple loads done in a day, say on a Saturday. Especially like I mentioned earlier, if you get the, if you're just going to be doing full loads, just dropping off to um, locations, you can make a lot more money, especially with a spreader on the back of your dump trailer. You're just going to come in, drive in, spread it, drop it, and take off, go get another load, and do the same thing over and over again. And, you know, on a Saturday, you're going to make pretty good money. For a roll-off container, again, depends on the volume or the size of the container. Typically, they range between 100 to 150 to start, and they go up to about 500 bucks, depending, again, on the size. The larger the container, the more expensive it is. So, if you're trying to make this as passive as possible, you probably don't want to be dropping off any type of loads or of material. You usually want to do the drop-off service. So, you want to have the roll-off containers, or if you have a truck and trailer, you usually want to drop off the trailer to your client, maybe lock it up with a lock on the hitch, and leave it there for you know a couple days and 24 hours, depending on whatever you have in your contract. Um, that's the most passive way to get it done. You're still gonna have to take a little bit of time to drop it off to pick it up. You know, if you're collecting brush or whatever, you're gonna have to go to the disposal yard to get rid of that. But it's usually the most passive way to use this. Now, again, if you want to hustle and make a little bit more money, you can you can haul materials for clients for residential uh, landowners or homeowners and uh and do it that way totally up to you so just to kind of go over it guys usually between you want to budget between eight thousand and twenty thousand for a dump trailer uh, for roll-off bins are typically a little cheaper but you are gonna have to have a vehicle in order to get the roll-off bin so you know that's gonna be a lot more expensive for the roll-off bin if you don't already have the vehicle um, but for a standard dump trailer that you can pull behind a truck is usually between 8,000 and 20,000, give or take a couple thousand um, on the higher end, usually. Again, to start, where would I start with this? I would start with a trailer typically priced between 10 and maybe $13,000. That's a good starting point to kind of get the ball rolling. Once you start building out some clientele, then you can start investing into maybe some bigger dump trailers, maybe purchasing the vehicle to start uh, using the roll off bins for a more passive income source. Um, but to start, I would usually start within that range. It's something that a typical 1500 can usually pull. Um, for mine, I had a 2500, so I had a little bit bigger truck. And I was pulling, uh, what was it, a 6 foot by 12 foot trailer, a dump trailer, uh, stacked with a caliche. I had no problem pulling it, so it'll, if you're worried about that, it'll definitely get it done. Um, each trailer is rated for a typical uh, loads so you have to check what how much load can each trailer take so that is something that you are gonna have to look into what kind of axles are underneath that trailer because if you overload it you can definitely do some damage to your trailer but overall guys so how much can you expect to make overall you can make you know anywhere between you know 150 to 500 dollars per day if you're hustling uh, again depending on how close your load is to pick up to drop off for your client if it's pretty close you can definitely do the 500 dollars if it's far away, you can usually shoot for at least $150 to $300 per day. Um, but yeah, it's definitely good, a good side hustle to get into if you have the time, if you have a truck, and you're willing to, to, willing to hustle. Without further ado, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed another episode of Unconventional Side Hustles. Be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. See you guys later. Bye-bye.